What is up? I'm Moana Eternal, and we're coming back with another Pokemon opening. We have another one of these uh, Evolution tins from Aldi's. Uh, Aldi sells Pokemon cards. In case you didn't know, <laughs> in case you don't even know, what, or in case you do not know what an Aldi's is, maybe if there isn't one in your area, it's just a grocery store. And uh, yeah, it turns out they sell Pokemon cards, and my girlfriend was kind enough to pick some up for me. She got me one of the three evolutions from the original 150 and so we have already opened up our Vaporeon one in a previous video and now we're going into the Flareon tin I actually do enjoy this product quite a bit because it is X XY series packs which to a lot of people is a turnoff uh, however for me you know that's I didn't really collect that um, during that era so a lot of these cards are new to me so I'm just haven't seen them before so while there's probably on not as many like huge money pulls uh, just a lot of cool Pokemon cards that I've never seen and this promo looks great let's just take a look at the card each of your stage 1 Pokemon is now fire so it's very similar to the um, Vaporeon curious when that's useful uh, heat breath flip a coin if has this thing does 20 more damage so these evolutions themselves are kind of underwhelming as far as how strong they are, but they always do look amazing, although all the evolutions always look great. And so we do have three packs. We have a Fates Collide, Ancient Origins, and Rogue Skies, and we have uh, two Unbroken Bonds and a Burning Shadows to wrap things up. Let's see, let's go Fates Collide, actually we'll just go in this order. Ooh, a Mega Rayquaza, that'd be really cool to pull. That's the thing, when, when I, uh, considering that I wasn't there for XY, just a lot of those things, those EXs that are basic, um, the Megas, they just, they look really cool to me. Especially the Fullers, I feel like the, in Sun and Moon, things have really gotten into like a routine as far as the style, and that just wasn't the case for XY, so I feel like it's, everything's, uh, very unique. Shuckle? We have a Dome Fossil Kabuto. A Deerling, very cute. A Riolu. Jigglypuff. A Carbink. Larvitar. Ooh, I do like that art. A Meowth is our reverse. I think I pulled one of these last time. And then just a regular rare Marowak. It's kind of weird. Not sure if he's dancing or marching. Bodyguard, prevent all attacks. Remove any existing effects. Boomerang, 60 times 2. Hmm. That's not terrible. Alright, let's move on to Ancient Origins. This set, I feel like they had like its own um, unique, the Ancient Trait thing that didn't amount to much. I think the fact that they're not necessarily foil really prevented it from having as much splash as I think. And I think so, not all of them are rare, like they can be uncommon and stuff like that. But let's see what we get for our Ancient Origins pack. Again, the Rayquaza would be amazing. We have a Rotom. Porygon 2, always a fan of Porygon. Special energy, dangerous energy, nice. Oh, Ralts. Kind of creepy art. <laughs> Golet. These guys, I feel like it doesn't ever like an army Pokemon. Golets would be them. Just gonna let that motorcycle drive by. Eevee. Always a fan of Eevees. Quagsire. <laughs> Looks like he's having a blast. Combi. Hex Maniac. Reverse. And then a Porygon Z. Not bad. Alright, we're moving on to our last pack for this tin. Hopefully, I'm hoping to get some kind of hit here. Otherwise, I'd be a little disappointed not to get anything in the tin. Ooh. Feel like I saw something. Alright, Rose Skies. Let's get something good. I'm not even sure what good is, but it's going to be right here. Alright. We have a switch, Shell, Shell Gong, Healing Scarf, Wingle, Dunsparce, Ninkata, a Togepi, Ooh. what was that, Esper, Shuppet, that art is so funny, a Mega Turbo, and then, ooh nice, Glade EX, the um, 
Ralts and Gardevoir. I, I love Ralts and Gardevoir. I don't think I like Gallade as much, but he looks very cool. Swift Lunge, your opponent's Pokemon active. Oh, that's a pretty good effect. And then Piercing Prizes. Hmm, interesting. Not crazy about a card that gets weaker over time, but can do significant damage right off the bat. Dealing up to 170 with Piercing Prizes. Very nice pull right there. We did have a great card. And now let's move on to Burning Shadows and then Unbroken Bonds to wrap up this opening. As always, guys, if you do want to support the channel, you can sim do so by simply hitting that like button down below. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber, definitely hit that sub button as well as we move on to Burning Shadows packs. Let's see, we have a Fire Energy, Simapore, Electabuzz, Lana, Meowth, Magikarp, Krogunk, Pikachu, a Pantsir. Ooh, Reverse Guzma, that's a good hit right there. And then a Scolipede. Alright, on to Unbroken Bonds. Two cracks at finding another Reshizard. Still haven't found a full art one. Alright, let's see, we have a Fighting Energy. Torcat. Poliwhirl. A Gloom. Taking a nap. Poliwag. Spritzy. Lickitung. Venonat. Spiro. Chip Chip Ice Axe. And a Crocodile. Alright, on to our last pack. Can we get another hit? Some last pack magic would be nice. Cue the last pack magic, please. Did it wrong. <laughs> uh, does that mean this is an energy card? Yep, so this is an energy, so I wasn't too far off. Alright, so let's see, we have a Dodrio, Raticate, Weeping Bell, a Seal, Bell Sprout, a Ghastly, Carvana, Togepi, a Venonat for the reverse, and then a Malamar, so just a regular hollow. Not the ultra rare we were looking for, but still a very fun opening. Uh, I'm a fan of opening XY for the time being. I feel like it gets a lot of hate though. So a very cool Flareon. And then a Glade EX from Roaring Skies. So um, that's it for our opening for today. As always, if you did enjoy the comment or the content, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.